It's only a man's dying hour that man remembers nothing except God. Welcome to section 4 of chapter 17 of the Holy Quran. Uh, and section 4 begins with sign 31. Namshi. <clears throat> uh, Wala taftalu. No, it's not taftalu. Wala tak. Wala taktalu. Auladikum. Hashiatan. Imla king. Hashiatan. Imla fin. Hasiatan imla kin. Wala taktalu auladokum hasiata imla kin. Kill not your children for fear of want. La taktalu. Kill not auladokum your children. Hasiatan imla kin. For fear. Hasiatan for fear. Of want im lacking. Nanu Nanu Ner Zukum Nanu Ner Zukum. We shall provide sustenance for them. Nanu Ner Zukum Nanu Ner Zukum Nanu Ner Zukum. Risking, mm. we shall provide sustenance for them. Wa wa kum wa kum. We shall pro provide sustenance for them as well as for you. In the olden days, people used to kill their children, especially female children. And God says, "No, don't kill them." I God Almighty, I will provide for the children as well as for you. So you see how God favors life. How life means a lot to God. And that's why after creating us, he doesn't kill us. He gives us time to repent when we go we world. He doesn't kill and he advises us not to kill. Thou shalt not kill. Okay. We shall provide for your children as well as you. Nanu nar zukuhum wa iyakum inna katlahum kana kana hit an kana hit an kabirun inna katlahum. Yes, in a katlahum, kana, hitan, hitan, kabirun. Verily, the killing of them is a great sin. A great sin, hitan, kabirun. Katlahum, the killing of them. There is commentary to 2414. <clears throat> 2414. The Arabs were addicted to female infanticide. Infanticide is killing of infants and the female of them, not usually the male. Mm. To female infanticide. Full stop. Uh, in a society perpetually at war, a son was a source of strength, whereas a daughter was a source of weakness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see. Mm. Uh, even now, infanticide is not unknown in other countries for economic reasons. This crime against children, this crime against children's lives is here characterized as one of the greatest 
of sins. So at the time this commentary was being made, and I believe even today, female infanticide still goes on. Mm. That is why uh, some commentators say, some religious leaders say, no, the religion, Islam, is not that of Arabs. It rather came to correct Arabs. And we know, all know what is going on today. The, the way Arabs treat other nationals when they go there to work, sometimes they just kill them. Yes. So, only God knows the difference between the primitive Arabs and the primitive Israelis. If I would choose to omit the word primitive, I would say only God knows what the difference between Arabs and Israelis when it comes to wickedness. Well, maybe to a larger world, we are all uh, wicked, in a sense. Naturally wicked. Uh, but for the presence of police and army, only God knows the chaos that will be going on uh, on this Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, characters as one of the greatest sins. And that was 2214. Comment to 2214 to Sign 31. Let's go to Sign 32. Azina. Wala takrabu azina. Wala takrabu az wala takrabu azina. Simple. No come near to adultery. Azina here refers to adultery. Hmm? Well, quote fornication is not mentioned, but of course if adultery is uh, found against is spoken against, fornication should be. Mm. And in local societies, azimna actually means adultery and fornication. But here in the Quran, and by our glorious interpreters, it is restricted to adultery. Take it either way. Mm. No, come near adultery. Uh, uh, Inahu kana fahishata. Inahu kana fahishata. Sorry, inahu kana fahishata. Inahu kana fahishata. For it is an indecent deed. For it is an indecent uh, deed. The deed is in brackets, for it is an in an it is an indecent deed. Deed being in brackets. Wasa uh, sabilan, wasa sabilan, and an evil way. Mm, an evil way. You see somebody's wife moving, wobbling the bottles up and down. You say, hey. I must finish her. Uh, I must finish her to see how the husband feels when he sleeps with her. It's evil in the primitive behavior. They are there. Look for one of your own. Especially if you are married and you are not satisfied with your woman. should satisfy you. should be okay for you. Mm. Your woman alone. If you are not okay and you have Less than four, you can marry more. You can look for somebody with the same qualities of the of the wife that you are eyeing, and take her. That is righteous, or oh, that is more righteous. Well, uh, Sabilan. Let me join the sentences. No, come near to adultery, for it is an indecent deed and an evil way. And that was sign 32. Uh, comment, we go to the commentary to be 2215. Commentary 2215. Mm. Adultery is not only shameful in itself and inconsistent with any self respect. With any self respect, self respect hyphenated. 
or respect for others, but it opens the road to many evils. Yes, especially when you finish somebody's wife. No proof, but he knows that you have dealing with, well, pardon me to use the word finish, but he knows that you are dealing with his wife. He too goes to do it to your own. And what sort of society will we have? Hmm? Then what is the essence of marrying? What is the true meaning of taking somebody to the altar? altar? Hmm? Uh, opens root to many evils. It destroys the basis of the family. It destroys the basis of the family. Uh, it works against the interests of children born or to be born. Yes, they grow up, they don't know the truth, parents. Mm. And we are seeing it today in our courts. It's not hidden in the internet. Mm. It takes some, sometimes decades, decades for a child to know the true father because of we word women and men. It takes two to tango. Mm. Okay, interest of children born or to be uh, born or to be born. It may cause murders, yes. <clears throat> it may cause murders and feuds or loss of reputation and property and also losing permanent or and, and also losing permanently the bonds of society. Full stop. Not only should it be avoided as it as a, as a sin, but any approach or temptation to reach should be avoided. So you are um, a very strong man. When I say strong, you know what I mean. And then Mr. George's wife always passes by you where you sit always. And uh, you know that she's trying to draw your mind towards her. A voice sitting there at a particular time that you know she passes. If you change the time and she changes the time, you can still change another time. Mm, or change wherever you sit so as to word of temptation from here. Mm. And that was commentary 2115. Mm. Yes, 2115. No, no. That's commentary 2215, rather. That's commentary. Two two one five to sign. Two two one five to sign thirty two. Mm. Uh, we now go to sign thirty three. So the prohibitions that God has placed on us still continues. And what does it say? Wala taktalu nafsa aleti haramallahu. Wala taktalu nafsa aleti haramallahu. No take life. No take life. Dash which God has made sacred, sacred, or not take life, which God has made sacred. So not necessarily the life of man, any life, animal, or whatever. It just mentions life, nafsa. nafsan aleti haram allahu. Haram allahu has, God has made sacred. Pardon me, Haram Allah, which God has made sacred. Illa bilhak. Illa bilhak. So that's, we go to parents still. Mm? 
uh, except for a just cause. So God says, don't take life. But then on the other side, you can take life if it's uh, in the course of justice. Mm -hmm. Except for a just cause, like uh, slaughtering an animal. Don't say animal life is not life, it's life. It's the creator who is telling us that, except for a just cause. What, what is next? Woman Kutila Maslu man Fakat Fakat Jalna Liwali Li Fakat Jalna Jalna Liwali Sultanan Jalna Liwali Sultanan. Uh, anyone who is slain and who is slain wrong, wrongly, Waman Kutla, Masluman, Masluman wrongly, anyone who is slain wrongly, we have given his hair authority. Sultanan, Jaalna, Liwalidihi, Sultanan, we have given his hair. Walidihi Sultan authority into brackets to demand to demand kisas or to forgive to demand kisas or to forgive and kisas is explained in the next commentary to demand kisas or to forgive so you kill somebody uh, authority is given to that fellow's hair to demand his ass or uh, to forgive. Mm. We will explain his ass later. Fala, Fala Yusuf, Fala Yusuf, Fala Yusuf, Fi Katli, Fala Yusuf. Fil Katli, for I used to fee al Katli. They are all they are the same. Mm. For I used to fill the uh, But let him not exceed bounds in the matter of taking life. Mm. Uh, uh, but let him not exceed bounds. In the matter of taking life, in the who cana mansuran, for he is helped by the law, but he is helped mansuran into brackets by the law. He is helped mansuran, in the who mansuran, and the commentator here adds his help into brackets by the law. Uh, I think he here refers to whoever is taking revenge, or, mm, whoever is taking revenge, or whoever authority is given, uh, whoever is authority is given to. Uh, for kisses or for forgiveness, I think so. Pardon me if that's not the case, viewers. Uh, now we go to the commentary two, two, and six. <clears throat> On the subject of kisses, yes, we are now going to kisses. On the subject of kisses, see chapter two, sign one seven eight. So, viewers, we can go back backward to chapter two. Mm -hmm. Sign one seven eight two for the explanation for the explanation of kisas mm -hmm. and the news there there too and the news there too full stop under the strict limitations under the strict limitations there laid down in, under the strict limitations there laid down comma a life 
may be taken for a life. Nafsim, the nafsim, nafsim, the nafsim. A life can be taken for a life. Full stop. Uh, the hair is given the right, yes. So the it actually refers to the hair, mm-hmm. the relation of the fellow being killed, the one who is given the right to take kisses or to forgive. Mm-hmm. Full stop. The hair is given the right to demand the the life. Mm-hmm. The hair is given the right to demand life, lies for life. Mm-hmm. But he must not exceed due bounds. Full stop. Because he is helped by the law. Full stop. Some commentators understand understand he double inverted commas. Mm-hmm. Understand he in he is helped by law. Also in inverted commas. So referring to the hair of the slain person. Mm-hmm. To refer to the hair, uh-huh, to refer to the hair of the person against whom kisses is sought. Uh, okay. So some commentators ref- some commentators refer he uh, refer he to mean the one who took life, if I'm not mistaken, to refer to the hair of the person against whom kisses is sought. Mm. To the one who the hair of the person slain in this sense. Mm. So he here may refer to the hair of the slain person. Viewers, you can make out your the meaning to yourself mm, if you don't mind. Okay. He also he too will be helped by law. So he too will be helped by law. In other words, the one, the hair of the one special slain will be helped by law. As well as the hair of the, <laughs> I'm getting confused, as well as the hair of the ones doing the slain. Mm. As well as the one doing the slain. To my understanding. Mm. Pardon me if I'm wrong. Uh, he too will be held by the law. If the hair of the first slain exceeds the bounds of law. Mm. So if the kisses is given to the relation, let me use the word relation, not her, let me use the word relation. If the kisses of the, uh, the kisses given to the relation of the dead person uh, is supported by God, so it is that the one who did the slaying is also supported by God because the second doesn't have to exceed bounds, doesn't have to ret- retaliate more than the law permits him to. <laughs> uh, that's my understanding <clears throat> of it. Uh, and that is commentary 22.16 to sign 33 to sign 33. We now go to sign 34. And sign 34, I can see already that there are four commentaries. We have a four in one commentary to sign 34. Mm -hmm. Another prohibition by God. Wala takrabu malal yetimi. Wala takrabu malal malal yetimi. Come not nigh. Nigh is N I G H, all English. That is all English. Come not nigh to the orphan's property. Malam yetimi. Malam, property here, yeah, not money, but property of the orphans. Hmm. Illa 
illa billati hiya hasanun illa billati hiya hasanun uh, except to improve it except to improve it the first commentary is against uh, he this uh, this phrase except to improve it hmm? illa bil hasana hatta hatta yabliga hatta yabluga hatta yabluga ashaduhu hatta yabluga ashaduhu uh, until he attains yabluga hatta until yabluga attains the age of full strength hmm? ashaduhu 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 the age of full strength wa awfu bil ahdi wa awfu bil hadi and fulfill every engagement for every engagement the every every is in brackets hmm? hata oh where is it Hata, no, no, we finish with Ashadun. Wa awfu, wa awfu bil ahdi. Wa awfu bil had ahdi. Mm -hmm. uh, until and fulfill every engagement for every engagement. Mm -hmm. And there is commentary to the 221. Now against every engagement, every engagement for every engagement. Hata awfu bil ahdi. Inna ahdi inna ahda kana masulan. Inna ahda inna ahda kana masulan. Uh, for every engagement for every engagement will be inquired into uh, I didn't finish the sentence mm -hmm. until until fulfill of full strength and fulfill, sorry, not until, mm, until, let me go back a bit, until the and until he attains the age of full strength and fulfill every engagement, comma, for every engagement will be inquired into on the day of judgment, into brackets, on the day of judgment. In al ahad kana Mas'ulan. Mas'ulan. On the day of judgment. Mm. Uh, we go to the commentaries now. Mm. Like I said, there are four in one. Let's go to start with the first one, 2217. Uh, compare chapter 6. One five two chapter six is S is V I V I compare V I one five two and other and other passages relating to orphans, e.g. two two twenty. Mm. Uh, full stop. If an orphan's property. Is touched at all if an orphan's property is touched at all it should be it should be to improve it mm. do not touch an orphan's thousand cities if you touch it it should be to improve it maybe you take it to the bank so that you can get interest on it not for yourself but for the child that's one way of improving it. 
hmm, or you put it into business. And all the profits accrue from the business will be for the child, not for your own use. That's, I think, a better way of improving the orphan's property. Okay. Uh, should be to improve it or to give him something better than he had before. It's the same thing. Hmm? Dash, never to take a personal advantage for the benefit of the guardian of the property. Hmm? A bargain that may be quite fair as between two independent persons should be under this note. So it should be under this verse, sorry, should be under this verse, comma, unfair as between, unfair as between a guardian and his orphan, as between a guardian and his orphan ward until the latter attains the full age of understanding. A bit difficult. Isn't it? Let's say you take an orphan who is just three years old. You have to keep his poverty until he becomes 18 years. Hmm? When his muscles are more mature and uh, stronger and the brain is, you know, working well. And you return everything to him. It's not easy to be righteous, but that's what that means. Hmm? Okay until the latter attains the full age of understanding. 2218 to the same uh, sign, 34, 2218. Mm. Ashudahu, that's full growth. Ashudahu, it's been explained here. Ashudahu means the age when the orphan reaches his full maturity of strength and understanding. That's what I just said, of strength and understanding. See, between the ages of 18 and 30, okay, I mentioned 18, but here it's 8. Between the ages of 18 and 30, mm, some people grow fast, others grow less. Those who grow, grow fast will get the full age of strength and understanding at 18. Others may lag behind and maybe 20, 25, up to 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. The age of legal maturity may be 18 into brackets as for certain purposes in India or 21 as in England. Full stop. Mm. Uh, both are in, in uh, inverted commas. Mm. As for certain purposes in India, India and then as in England. Also in brackets. Mm. For certain purposes in Muslim law, it may be less than 18, full stop. In the orphan's interest, a much stricter standard is required in his case. I repeat that. In the orphan's interest, a much stricter standard is required in his case. We go to the next commentary which is uh, 22, 2219. That's the third commentary to the same sign, 30, 34. Uh, 2219. It's against every. Uh, fulfill every. Okay. The definite article. The definite Article Al, A L, the definite article Al has here a generic meaning, comma, and is best translated by every. Is best translated by, by, by the word every. Mm. Uh, let's see if we can go back. Uh, Waofu bil adli in al adahu kana mas u lan bil adli, that's A L P P al adli. 
innal inna al adl kana mas'ulan uh, for every engagement will be inquired into every engagement uh -huh. so we've explained that let's go to 2220 and that will be the fourth and the last uh commentary to sign 34 mm -hmm. it's against the word the day of reckoning masulan against the day of reckoning uh oh where is it uh from the context from the context the engagements referred to would relate to beneficial contracts connected with the orphan's property or promises of undertakings given by the guardian, given by the guardian, or implied in the terms of the appointment, full stop. But the words are general and may be interpreted, interpreted in the general sense. Full stop. Note that this sentence does not occur in the similar passage in VI 152. Let me repeat that. Note that note that this sentence does not occur in the similar passage in VI that's chapter six sign one five two. Where there, was, where there was a discussion of social laws, colon, colon. Mm. It is appropriate there, it is appropriate here, where the discussion is about the guardian's personal and individual responsibility. Full stop. We now go to... No, I think the commentary is even fivefold. Let's see. 22, 17, 22, 18, 22, 22, 18, 22, 19, 22, 20. 22, 20. Yes, I think that's the last commentary. 22, 20 is what we just read. We are now going to the uh, next sign and it is 35 and it is sign 35 i think viewers will stop here uh, we should do the next sign 35 the next sign 35 in our next episode god willing mm. thank you very much may god be with you all bye bye au revoir